Hello and welcome back to another video and congratulations if you're watching this on the day it comes out then you finish your first week of teaching in schools. Now that might be your first week of teaching ever, that might be your first week of this year, that might be your first week of this decade of teaching depending on how experienced you are. But congratulations whoever you are and whatever, however long you've been teaching, you've done your first week this year which is always a big achievement to say yeah but let's take that week off. And I think hopefully this week would have been a success. I'm very much looking forward to this week because it's one of the rare times that we actually start on a Monday. So our inset days were before the weekend and my class are back in school on the Monday so I get a full week with them to get the week started and I always much prefer that because it's a chance to get all your routines set in place and get a full week of work done before you get a few days off again and that's just nice. I much prefer that to then having a few days in and a few days off then back in for a week and yeah hopefully it would have gone really really well. I'm obviously filming this just before we go back so I'm fully optimistic and looking forward to it. Now if you have been back at school this week then in the comments do let us know how your week has gone. What were the best bits? What were some of the tough bits? What things you're wanting to work on? What are you looking forward to about going on to next week? And this video is all about those people that might not be looking forward to next week so much because it's highly likely that some of your first weeks will not have gone as well as you want to them to and you might be worried about all sorts of things and teacher dread or Sunday night teacher dread or nerves for the weekend is always a massive thing that teachers talk about and if you are feeling that then first off don't worry about that don't think that's anything out of the ordinary that's something that every teacher gets and I'm sure I will feel the same nerves on the first night before going back to work I always do at the end of the summer holidays you feel nervous you're not sure if you can remember how to do it all look I'm about to start my fifth year of teaching and even now when I was getting my old classroom ready there were things I forgot when I first did my plan for the term and I fit all my subjects into it I completely forgot to plan for one of the subjects and I just forgot it was a thing I had to do and I did get it sourced and I did remember and you know, there's all things that now I am getting better at sorting out, but it's just to say that look guys, you will forget things and things won't go amazingly first time. So don't worry about that. And we're gonna talk about some of the things you can do to help that out and help get rid of those nerves building up to your first day back. And especially for a new teacher, I remember I was nervous every single day and having two days out of class, I was fully nervous for that Monday back in school again after my first week. And I wanted to build on things. I wanted things to go better than they had done because not everything did go amazingly well in my first week. And I found my first week of teaching ever, I wasn't even in my classroom because of the classroom the whole school was getting a new heating system put in and my classroom was the one being done in my first week so I was teaching in the hall so my second week back after my first weekend was actually my first day in the classroom that led to a whole load of balled up nerves so it's just about guys look those nerves are normal just get used to them for now and we're going to talk about things you can do to get around them and first of all is to make sure you're not working every single day and get outside during the week and go do something nerves don't get fixed by just working 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 your nerves get fixed by experience by time by getting the job done and if you can get the job done quicker and you can go do some other stuff then please do make sure you do that at your weekends don't think you've got to spend your whole weekend sat doing some work because you're not worried about the next week the next week will come and will get itself sorted and you will get it sorted in the time you've got but make sure at the weekends you're going to go see some friends you're going to go see some family for me it's about getting outdoors it might be going to the park it might be going for a walk going for a bike ride like i used to a lot get outside and do enjoy yourself because a the cold weather's coming we've hit autumn it won't be long before it is really cold it gets dark earlier so enjoy the warm weather while you've got it and B, get that fresh air in your lungs, get that exercise done, get your body remembering that actually you've got a really busy term coming up. You've got lots of time in school where you'll be stuck inside doing some work. So while you've got your weekends, do enjoy them. And that should help the fact that you get to do some other stuff. You're not just 100% thinking about work. That's the quickest way to lead to burnout and leading to getting fatigued and tired and struggling to get to the end of term. So make sure you're using your weekends wisely, first of all, and that you're getting outside and doing something else other than just working. And second of all, make sure you're working efficiently. Make sure you're getting everything done you can at school. Don't think another way to get around teacher nerves is to make sure you're doing loads of work at home as well. Because working at home generally, well, there's two things. One, it takes a lot longer. Working at home, especially for me, is never as efficient as doing it at school. If I work at home, then normally I'll get distracted by something on TV or my little boy will come and want to do something with me or I want to do something with him or I want to eat some food. I'll have a drink. There'll be all sorts of things that will distract me from doing the work. So it takes twice as long and that's never efficient. It's never a good way to do it. And B, I'll either forget to take something home. There'll be something I need that's at school on a computer system. Just, there's just so many reasons why working at home doesn't necessarily work. And for some people, they do it brilliantly. And for those people, then I'm A, slightly envious, but B, I congratulate you because you can get something done that I can't. But if you are one of those people that can't necessarily work from home the best way, that doesn't mean you still have to struggle on and struggle through. Just get it done at school. Maybe take a bit of extra lunch time out to do it. Maybe take a little bit extra time after school to do it. I'd much prefer to stay for an extra hour at school and get everything done there 
and then come home with nothing to do than be stuck at home doing some work that I could have done before I left school. So do your best to try and get everything done at school as quickly as you can and that leaves your weekends and your evenings free to do what you want. And also take on a little side project. I'm someone who loves being busy. I don't like just being sat there twiddling my thumbs. I hate it when I'm in the house on my own because I just get bored. I can't, I'm not good at being on my own and doing stuff on my own. So take on a little side project. Now that can be anything you want. That could be, for me, I think it's these kind of things like filming videos, like buying stuff and collecting things. I love collecting football cards at the minute. It's one, one thing I'm really interesting, one thing I'm really interested in. And it's something that I started over lockdown because I had a bit of spare time, obviously we all did. And it's just something that's kind of reignited from a childhood hobby, but it can be something as simple as that. You know, it might be sewing, it might be creating something arty. I'm not very artistic, so that one's not for me, but have a little side hobby that you can invest some time in. You've got to have something other than your job where you feel passionate about it. You feel like you want to do it and you want to get it done. Because otherwise you feel like your whole life is just kind of a repeat of working, eating, sleeping, and it just goes round and round and round. And you don't have that extra spark of why you do something. And that's something a lot of teachers struggle with, especially when it comes to things like burnout, because teaching can be a bit of a lifestyle. It can be one of those jobs that takes over your life. And that is what leads to kind of that, those nerves as well, because you don't have something that takes your mind off it. You don't have something that pulls your attention away from it. You don't have something that you're thinking about. So it used to be when I first started teaching, all I do when I go to bed is I think about what I'm doing the next day. I think about what I need to get done to get ready for school in the morning, what I need to get printed off. If you can, you might be hearing ice cream, that's a bit late for ice cream, but probably it's the last run of the season. Um, but yeah, you might be thinking about what you need to get done in school. And actually nowadays, because I've got so many different things I do, I think about, okay, how are the football cards and what do I need to get? What do I need to get prepared for the football cards and my collections? And I do sell some of them online too. So getting all that sorted and the logistics of all that. I think about YouTube videos and editing and making sure that's all running smoothly and I think I do think about school a bit as well but you can see that I've got three different things and so those nerves about going into school and teaching they don't have time to come in they don't because I'm so busy thinking about those stuff that's never mind all the family stuff and looking after my boy and doing making sure I'm spending time with my wife and there's just so many things and for some of you might be sat there thinking whoa that's far too busy it's far too much stuff but for me that's what I like I like my brain being busy thinking about all this stuff and there are days when I need to take a sit back and like today, Sunday afternoon, I'm going to take a step back and I'll be watching the football, I'll be watching the Formula One, I'll be having a nice chill Sunday afternoon, but that's because I've got all this stuff done, I've been doing all this stuff and so I'm not sat there twiddling my thumbs thinking about the nervous things that are coming up. I know I've got stuff ready, I've got stuff organised and I've been busy and so I've got now the time to enjoy myself and that is really, really important. So that's another way to do, make yourself busy, make sure you're doing stuff and then you can therefore enjoy your time rather than be sat there nervously waiting for the time to come where you have to get those nervous tasks done. And then the last thing to do is make sure you're getting support and I always, always, always talk about this one. To get rid of those nerves, don't sit there nervous, don't sit there worrying about what you've got to do just ask someone. When I first started, I was never very good at asking questions. And this is why I always tell you guys to ask questions and ask for help. Because if you're nervous about something, there'll be someone out there that's done it. I might have done it. So if you have got a question, stick it in the comments. I reply to as many as I can. If you haven't got a question, then do make sure that you are watching these videos and thinking about, is there anything you've not thought of? If you have got a question that I can't answer, ask someone at school, see if they can answer it. Just get someone to help you out because there's so many really, really experienced, knowledgeable, fantastic teachers that are out there that are their job and their life is there to, or their job is to help others. And so, you know, you don't, you very rarely find a teacher that isn't willing to help you out in some way or another. And so go and ask a teacher for some help. And that might seem a little bit silly because you're, oh, well, I'm a teacher. I should know this. But actually, if you're, especially if you're a new teacher, if you're in your first year, second year, third year, you're not going to know everything. I still don't feel like I knew everything. I know everything. And I'm going into my fifth year. So do go and ask someone for help, ask someone for support and advice. And hopefully that will mean that you can get those nerves gone because you get an answer. Nerves are there because it's a fear of the unknown. It's a fear of something that you've not done before. So if you can just go and ask someone for a bit of help, then that might get rid of the unknown bit. You might go, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing there. Oh yeah, I know how that works. So do go and ask someone for that help if you can. And as always, just keep on going, guys. Keep on looking forward, keep on looking ahead. It's one of those things where it's a really uncertain time at the minute. There's all sorts of fears of the unknown about all sorts of things in school, at home, everything in the world going on. So do make sure that you are just keeping on talking to people, keep on asking questions and keep on just getting stuff off your chest. Don't let stuff build up inside because again, that doesn't help with those teacher nerves and it doesn't help generally with anyone that's struggling with anything. 
So do keep on talking. And like we said, the comments are always a good place to start because I know sometimes I can reply to stuff. Other people reply to comments when they see them and they can help too, which is always really nice to see. And it builds that community. I think there's about 14 or 1500 people on this channel that are subscribed to it now and loads more than that watch these videos. So there'll be someone out there that can help you out if you are looking for some help. And as always, there's a new video here on a Tuesday, Friday and a Sunday. So do come back then and do subscribe if you're thinking you enjoy this. And hopefully we'll see you all very soon on the next video.